Thanks for coming by today and talking with us. Tonight's story for our kids' class is about Zacchaeus. But I want to, first of all, welcome you to Jericho. You know, welcome to the city of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Welcome to the city of Jericho, where the walls came tumbling down. Hey, you know the story from the Old Testament, right? Where the Israelites go walking around the city of Jericho, and then after seven days and seven times on the seventh day, they blow the trumpets and they give a loud shout, and the walls came tumbling down. Well, now that you know where Jericho is, that's where we are now. In Luke chapter 19 in your Bibles, Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10, you're going to see the story of Zacchaeus. Now, you've probably heard a little bit about me before, but I want to tell you from a first-hand account about this man named Zacchaeus. Hey, that's me. I'm Zacchaeus. Let me introduce yourself. I am Zacchaeus. You know, I'm a pretty big thing, you know. Well, even though I'm really kind of short. But, but I'm a big thing because I'm rich. I got lots of money because I am a chief tax collector in the city. And you know what that means? That makes me rich. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I'm a big thing. But I'm not so popular with the people. <sighs> you see, on a chief tax collector, you know what I gotta do, right? I gotta go around town and I gotta knock on people's doors and I gotta say, give me your money. And I gotta say, give me your money. And I say, give me your money. A little bit more, please. And they don't like me for that because people want to keep their money. So, you know what? I have a morning routine because taking a lot of money from people is tiring. Woo, so I got to work out my muscles. See how big my muscles are? Look here. Oh, yeah, my muscles are big. But I got to work out to get those muscles. So I want to take you and show you some of my morning routine or exercises. So I got to get my heart rate going. So what I do is I have to jog in place. You ready? For five seconds, I'm jogging in place. You can get up and do it too if you want to with me. Go ahead, stand up, watch the video. We're going to run in place. Ready? Five seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, my heart's beating just a little bit. Next, I want you to know we do a little bit of jumping jacks to get the calisthenics going. Are you ready? We're going to do five count of jumping jacks. You join in if you want to. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. All right. Woo! I'm already sweating. Woo! I'm breaking a sweat. And I haven't even gotten any money yet. Well, we have we have running place. We touch, we have, we've done some jumping jacks, but I also like to touch my toes. So I'm gonna do my right leg first. I'm gonna do a five count on my right leg. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And then I do the left leg. One. A two, a three, a four, a five. And then my legs are ready to go get those taxes. But watch this, I got one more. I can do both legs at the same time on five. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Now, I am breaking a sweat. My morning exercises are done, but not just calisthenics. I also like to do some meditation. So if you know what meditation is, it's where you close your eyes, you hold out your hands, and you make like a little, little butterfly looking things, and you cross your legs, and you... Okay, woo! We got our meditation out of the way for today. So now, here, like I said, I'm a tax collector, and I'm ready to go get taxes today, but you know, people don't like tax collectors. Oh. They make me so mad when they slam the door in my face or when they run and hide and try to run away from me. All I want is their money. Remember, is that key is kind of a big deal, you know? And so I think I'm a big deal because I'm rich. But really, a lot of people don't like me. They call me names. You know what they call me? They call me Shorty. They call me Shrimpy. They call me Pee Wee. But most of all, I hate it when they call me a wee little man. Oh, I just want to 
kick them in the head. Oh, that makes me so mad. God, that makes me mad. I cannot stand it when they call me the wee little man. Come on, you know I'm not just the shortest guy in town. They, they even made a song about me. You, you probably know the song, right? They sing it in churches nowadays, what I hear. But they say, Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree, the Savior to see. And as the Savior walked along, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there. Cause I'm going to your house today. I'm going to your house today. Oh, wee little man. I can't stand it when they call me that. Well, you know, I'm not the shortest guy in the world. I may be wee, I may be short, I may be a little shrimpy, but I'm not the smallest by any means. You know what? They never made a song about that other short guy who's shorter than me. You know, knee high my. He only comes up to the knee high my. They didn't say, Nehemiah was a wee little man, and Nehemiah man was, they didn't see no song like that, why? They had to pick on Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus. I just can't stand it. Well then, you know, there's one shorter than Nehemiah. A man named Bildad. You know, he's friends with Job. He was Bildad the Shuhai. Yep, he was only as tall as his shoe. And they didn't make no song about Bill Dad the shoe hot. Old Bill Dad was shoe hot man, shoe hot man was he. No, they decided to talk about a wee little man like myself. Zach Tears. Well, you know, that's not all whole life. The rest of the story goes in Luke chapter 19. This man by the name of Jesus, they called the Christ or the Messiah. Some said he's gonna be king of the Jews. Well, he said he's coming to Jericho. And that's where I live. That's what I'm involved in. I'm the chief tax collector. Remember, I'm a big deal. Well, he's coming to, he's coming to town, so I kinda of wanna see him. I wanna see what this man Jesus is around, what he was about, what he's teaching, what he's saying. Well, I'm short. I couldn't see. And so, See that tree right over there to my right? I had to climb a tree like that. I had to climb up it. I had to jump real high. I tried to reach. And I got in that tree and I was looking for the Savior to come my way. And sure enough, you know what happened? Jesus came right over to him and he looked up in that tree and he said, Zacchaeus, he knew my name. Told you I was a big deal. I made the Bible. My name is in headlines. I'm in Luke chapter 19. Write it down, friends. Luke 19. Jesus knew my name. Wait, he knew my name. He must have been the Son of God. Nobody else just knows my name, although I am a big deal. Jesus came to me and said, Zacchaeus, you get down from there. I'm going to go to your house today, and we're going to have dinner together. We're going to visit. Man, did I feel important. So, I jumped down out of that tree as quick as I could. I got my little legs on the as fast as I could all the way home. Woo! I kicked off my shoes. Woo! Now nah, I'm gonna leave them on. And then I went in and started making dinner, getting ready to feed Jesus. And you know what the people said about me? I knew they didn't like me. I knew they always made fun of me because I'm a wee little man. But they were mad. They complained. You know why? Look at verse 9 and 10 of the chapter there. It says, they complained because they said, Jesus is eaten with sinners. Man, that really got me. I knew I was wrong because now I knew the Messiah had come. He said to me that salvation has come to your house. Woo! Salvation has come to my house. Jesus Christ, Jesus means salvation. Did you know that? I knew that. Yes, sir, I did. Salvation come to my house. And so you know what I told Jesus? <clears throat> I told him that I would give half of my goods to the poor. And if I wronged anybody, I'd give them back 
four times the amount of what I took. So if I took 25 cents more than what I should, that means what? I'm going to give them a dollar. That's called repentance. That's right. Repentance. That means turning away from your old, old self and doing what's right. So I'm repenting of Jesus. And I'm going to make things right just as I told him I would. So here's what I want you to know tonight before we close up the class. I want you to know a couple of things. My name is Zacchaeus. I'm a big deal, although I'm a wee little man. Woo! I'll do my exercises. I'll get stronger. I'll get bigger. But here's one thing I do know. I may be little, but God can do great things through me just as he can through you. I believe in Jesus and his words. And I'm going to make sure I always turn away from the wrong and do the right. And I want you to do the same. Be repentant. Turn away from what's wrong and do the right. And even though I'm small, I have a big message to tell other people. A big one. As big as the world. Woo! I have a big message because I'm not the big deal. Jesus is the big deal. I want you to know that God loves me and he loves you. Jesus cares about me and he cares about you. Jesus wants me to serve him as I serve others around me. I want you to take those messages with you tonight. Know God loves you. God cares for you and you serve him by serving others. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Zach Keys was a wee little man, but that's all right. I hope you remember the rest of the song. And a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree, the Savior to see. And as the Savior walked along, he looked up in that tree. He said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there, because I'm going to your house today. Jesus has given you his words. <clears throat> he has given you his words so that you know his message and so that you can be part of his kingdom. Keep doing what you're doing. I love you. I miss you. You have a great day. And I want to give everybody a good yeehaw. Woo! Yeehaw! See you later. Thanks for joining.